when we talk about websites, content may be the king, but design is definitely the queen. The one who decides what goes where and how long does a visitor stay. So how do we come up with a good design? And how does a developer become a good designer? So we have somebody who is on the crossroad of development and design. Siddhartha Ashok is tell us, here to tell us about um, how to be a better designer as a developer. He'll talk about understanding of user experience and user interface. Siddharth Ashok is a co-founder of Grandworks, a multidisciplinary digital agency where he helps businesses around the world with outcome-focused design and development. Siddharth, let's talk about this. Thanks, Yogesh, for a lovely introduction. Hey, guys, this is Siddharth Ashok, and wish you all a very happy Valentine's Day. Thank you for spending time with us this evening. Today, I will be sharing some of my experiences on how to be a better designer. I started my journey as a front-end developer, and I got an opportunity to work alongside with great designers and uh, how I learned uh, from them and uh, what all we can do to uh, grow better as a designer. That's what I will be sharing with you. I co-found this uh, agency Grandworks uh, with my colleague Hampus Olson, who is also a designer, a uh, really great designer. So I learned a lot uh, from him. What I, will, what I will be sharing is not just for aspiring designers, but also for my developer friends. Uh, being a developer, I think you guys can relate a lot. When we talk about being a designer, generally we classify into being a being really good at lo making logos, making nice branding, defining colors, etc. Uh, or you can be really good at illustration, like one of the illustration which my colleague Hampus drew. Uh, you can be good at that, or you can be good at UI designer. So I will be discussing more today on how to be a better UI designer. So one of the tips which I can give you uh, to start your design journey and uh, being good at it is start replicating other people's design. When I say replicating, uh, you can copy and recreate it. You don't need to put it in your portfolio, but it will be great for learning. So you can go to Google and search for like uh, UI design gallery. Uh, you will see a lot of these collections of different uh, UI. Dribble is a very popular site. You can find in Pinterest. And just go through them. There's so many of these. Uh, when you go through them, you will see some of the designs which you will like. Uh, try to replicate it and redesign it in your favorite tool. You can use any of the tool which you feel like. I like Figma. There's Adobe XD, Sketch, other popular tools which you can uh, use to design UIs. Uh, so, like you can sort at different items here. I like this site, Collect UI, a lot. So you can choose one of the designs uh, which you feel you like to recreate. Let's see this one. So when we are trying to recreate this into our design tool, uh, what will happen over time is you will be building your muscle memory. You will be copying these uh, great artists into your design and over time you will understand how they have designed, how they have solved different problems what they have done uh, good here. So over time when you're uh, designing something from scratch, these good uh, UI practices will automatically come to you. So uh, for example, what kind of font I should have used here, how I can differentiate between different colors here, and how I can make this little better, how to put it into a grid. So this will all start to happen when you start copying it. So let's just do it. Uh, I will take this design and uh, put it into my favorite design tool, Figma. And let's try to recreate it. Figma is one of the popular tools to make UIs. Uh, here in this, I am just took the design and trying to recreate it. When I'm designing it, you can see I am trying to fix it uh, as per grid 
trying to make sure the layout is same as the design the colors are very close to what was designed of course i'm not going to detail for this demo purpose but it looks pretty similar <laughs> yep as i said uh, practice 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 like the more you practice the better you get there's no other way on becoming a better at anything uh, just keep on practicing and this will also help you build a good eye which we say like you have a good eye to uh, details you have a good eye to nice colors nice fonts so when you are replicating these designs over time you will build it automatically uh, taking our learnings to the next level uh, one of the important things we should learn is the fundamentals of design how different layouts are for the web for the app different column designs how grid works we have to work on it and we have to learn that over time should also focus on learning how to use different colors how each colors reflect different emotions when to use what color how to highlight something so these are the things you will learn over time when you uh, practice more and give more time uh, into inspiring from other designers inspiring from other good designs so you will start to notice these small details same goes with typography uh, what font uh, gives what kind of emotions different type of typography when to use what when to use a serif font where to use a sans serif font how to find a good font combination how to build a visual hierarchy where we highlight the important elements and then uh, different elements are placed with uh, lesser details how to compose the whole page how to bring the balance into the design so that nothing is uh, taking over other so all these fundamentals you will understand when you're working more with design designing different things and also like doing this and showcasing it to different people the feedback is also very important moving further uh, in our learning skills other things which i would like to uh, share which is good to learn and good to have is learn to sketch like a lot of times uh, when a when i have to design ui i i just take pen and paper and start sketching the ui for it it with different boxes different grids i just start making it and then i can solve a lot of ux problems through that too very easily where i can place different screen how the flow of the screens will be it's 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 a very handy tool <laughs> pen and paper the most easy tool and and it helps a lot so try to learn to sketch also try to learn how to solve different problem learn from famous websites how they have solved it so a lot of uh, times when you will be designing you will be thinking how to put this 20 links into the same page how to put these buttons at the same place and while i want to do this too so when you will face the problem see how other people have solved it how to how do a design thinking so whenever you are designing it try to see what's the outcome of it how this can be more functional so think in that way understand the user experience part of it then also i will say start working on uh, your communication skill these are more of a soft skills to have but it's really great when you are trying to become better as a designer or as as a better professional try to communicate better try to see how i can write better my english is not uh, very good english was never my first language but i i worked on it i learned how to write better english how to speak better over time so that i can express my design i can express my feelings in a better words a better uh, better way so over time doing more of these exercises helps you again a very important uh, skill is a listening skill try to listen to other people try to listen to understand what he's trying to say and like try to understand his criticism the constructive criticism and try to uh, fix it try to get better at it so that's also very important another very important skill which uh, which usually most people neglect is uh, how to work together working in a team 
how to bring more positivity into a team when we are working together, trying to finding solutions together. So that's another of the soft skills uh, which one should have uh, if you want to be a better designer. I know it's not very related, but it's very helpful from my experience. Another thing we can do is have a very selected focus when you're learning. So don't try to learn everything in one day. These things won't happen in one day. You have to give time over time. Uh, with practice, you will improve. So start with one small skill set. Like today, I will start with learning different typography. Then practice on colors. So have very selected focus, and over time, uh, you will get the results. Getting feedback, that's extremely important in your learning thing. So whenever you design something, whenever you do something, try to share it with other designers or other users or your friends and get their feedback. Try to also learn to filter the feedback and take the uh, one uh, which is very constructive and gives you uh, how to do better. There are very many Facebook groups. There are many, you can post it on Twitter you can post it uh, into more private groups made for designers where you, these people will be happy to give you feedback and you can start to grow from there and you can learn like what i did wrong and how to improve myself and then like a uh, few one of the tip i got is like go beyond the brief always over deliver so try to go that ex do that extra mile in order to stand out from the others. So you have to go to that attention to detail. Always uh, try to get inspired. Uh, there can be blockages when you are learning. There can be blockages when you are not feeling creative, not feeling that good. Go out for a walk, uh, watch a good movie, be energize yourself and look at other people's great design. Get inspired and then come back to it and, and, and design it. Not only that, we have to also keep track of, the f of our output. Like we have to see how much time we have spent on learning and how far we have grown. So that's also important. Thanks a lot for listening to me. Always feel free to connect uh, at my email at sid at grandworks.co or find me on Twitter or Instagram at Siddhartha Shok. Thanks a lot, guys. Have a nice weekend.